What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by VideoProc, and we're taking a look at the really, really awesome conversion tool. This thing also has a few other tools built inside of it. For example, you can convert and back up a full-on DVD. With it. it has six different modes where you can rip a full DVD into 180 plus formats like MP4, MP3. You can also go and download videos directly from YouTube, Facebook, and a thousand other sites. You can convert them directly to MP4 or MP3, which is really, really cool if you're trying to get yourself like a certain video or something of those sorts to use in your edit. Last but not least you can also record video we're using screen capture software right now but this one has that built into the program so you can capture live streams games software anything in mov which is really really cool now once you've found all these files like you have your dvd file and you've downloaded something from youtube and now you record it at your screen all of these are in particular file formats and what can you do with that well you can actually toss it into video over here and convert it how cool is that so first things first we do need to add some video directly into here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mess with one particular clip and uh well i don't know what this is but it looks kind of cool right let me go and play it real quick ah here's some footage from chicago i'm gonna go back one these are more images but i have some cool shots here from colorado and texas and nola so let's see what we can mess with here these are all dot mp4 files we want something that's not too too big a little shaky hmm I'm gonna take I'm a picky person I'm gonna take this particular shot right here okay so it's gonna load the media up and as you guys can see right off the bat we get a ton of information for example this video is shot in h.264 it's 2720 by 1530 which means it's in 2k resolution ish and then of course we have it's 19 seconds long no audio inside of it and of course we can mess with the name along with what we want to convert it to so on the bottom here we have target formats and as you guys can see there are a billion different options for what we want depending on the device as you guys can see you can actually convert it into an iDVD video if you want to iPhone video to Android you can even convert it directly to a YouTube video and mp4 FLV which are the two formats that YouTube supports here's some Facebook formats and Vimeo we can also go ahead and just uh, mess with this so that it works great on a Huawei device you know like it never ends every single option that is available so I think my coolest one here is probably Sony option the fact that you can PSP well I haven't seen one of those in a long time but yeah you can go and mess with the quality and convert it for a PSP so for the sake of this video I am gonna convert this you know I don't want to convert it to 4k I think we're just gonna convert it to mp4 and later I'm gonna change the resolution you see the biggest problem we have with drone shots is that yeah the resolution's great but you know it takes a lot of work to edit that in Premiere it might lag and if it's in 4k a lot of problems so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're simply gonna hit this big giant gear button and it's gonna bring up all the different options we have quality wise and we're gonna maintain h.264 on the frame rate however in the resolution I'm gonna set this to definitely not 4k definitely not these what I'm gonna set it to is not 2k not slightly under 2k we're going to set it to 1280 by 720 which will fit very nicely on uh, YouTube you can do a manual bit rate but uh, you know just keep it on auto calculate that's a lot of work and on top of that we can also mess with the audio codec but this video doesn't really have audio now as you guys can see we also have quality here so if you want high quality low quality you can go ahead and do that as well now if I hypothetically were to hit done I could just pick my format. Here's the videos. You can actually have a bajillion videos or an entire folder's worth of videos here, so you can bulk render. And you can actually set it so your computer turns off automatically when you are done. You can also edit um, or render videos and music at the same time, or you can convert videos directly into songs if that's what you're feeling. As you guys can see, we have a variety of options down here for video. We have options for different devices, Xbox, PS4, Samsung. And of course, my favorite, when you sometimes want to pull the music from a particular video clip because you really like the song but don't know what it is, you can just hit MP3 here and it will go ahead and do that we also have a toolbox which is interesting as well um, these are basically uh, so it can go and deshake things denoise things merge clips trim split rotate uh, turn into a gif it's really interesting little tools here fisheye is really cool um, so if that's what you want uh, toolbox is really really handy but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna keep it um, this particular way we can also use the high-quality engine there's the inter interlacing and merge we don't need any of those at the moment but we do want to run on Intel and here the coolest thing is it'll tell you what's being used to render this particular video for example we're using full-on CPU at the moment um, and it'll show you how long it took along with making this very nice folder for you as you guys can see um, I've already rendered a few things before but this is the new video that I gave it a very unusual name let's go ahead and find it 
So of course, right now we went ahead and got this one. The other ones were done a little bit earlier when I was playing around. And as you guys can see, our video is now in 1080 and no longer in 2K resolution. Wow, this is a really, really cool video though. Oh my, wow. So I am a big fan of this. It's really, really interesting. What a vibe though. So you can actually rip a disc directly into any format you want as well. Here is what the downloader looks like. So if you wanna just toss a link, like literally drag and drop it directly into here, you could pull a video from like YouTube. You could even pull this video, although I don't know why you would want this one, but if you want it, cool. And then of course you can go ahead and screen record as well, which is really, really cool. Give it a permission. And next off, click this button. And now it will actually capture the entire screen, except I haven't given it permissions yet. But yeah, that's what it looks like, which is really, really awesome. All in all, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and check out the link below. This is going to be me logging.